How do you get started in shuriken? Okay. You're going to first choose whether you are you want to create a challenge. If you got challenge ideas right now, you're like, I got to share this with the community. This is a cool video. Okay. Then you can go in and create a challenge. Just press the create button. But what I recommend you do is to start by training. Right. So I've... I've Debated putting that create button only available once you actually completed someone else's challenge. You get a lot more points when you complete challenges. You only earn 200 points when you create a challenge, but you earn a thousand when you complete a challenge. Okay. So you can see the latest entries by people. If you are. Okay, and I've got some app history here so this is what you'll see you'll see all the latest posts okay so that can give you an idea okay what what people are doing or you can find by skill say i want a bow staff challenge i want a sword challenge i'm a knife throwing guy so i'm gonna do some knife throwing right and now you can find all kinds of challenges based on knife throwing. Now feature challenges shows you the community created challenges. But also have some basic skills where you can earn points based on, on a measurement, right? So knife throw for distance, any style, 12 inch target. So you're gonna earn six points per centimeter. So you wanna measure, okay, how far you are from the target when you're throwing show that in the video and then you can earn points based on the measurement right so let's say you hit uh six feet which is about two meters you would write 200 centimeters okay up here 200 and so all i did here is press the submit button 200 centimeters. Uh, don't worry about image unless it's um, something that is submittable with just an image. Otherwise, you can upload your video on another platform, YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, as long as it's publicly viewable more than 24 hours. Um, I was trying to film this video earlier and I wanted to showcase someone's challenge, but they had posted it as a story, and so you couldn't see what happened anymore. So I'm going to have uh, to explain that to that person. Um, see, when I build the full app, I'm going to work on more ways to really confirm that um, your, your video URL is a video that's actually viewable, right? So you're gonna paste your video link, write a comment, and say, that was easy gunning for 700 centimeters. Let's go. Okay. And then you're gonna hit submit. I won't know because it's, it's not, I don't have the video proof, right? And then you'll see your uh, challenge is going to appear under here with everyone's submission as a leaderboard. So whoever has the best score will appear on top. Okay. So if you get inspired here or browse down below, you'll be able to find more challenges. Okay. You can either view all the ranked skills. The ranked skills is what I just displayed. Or you can view the community challenges. You can view by latest. And you can also filter here. Say I want only challenges in speed and intellect. And that have to do with knife throwing. Oh, there's no, there's no knife throwing challenge in intellect? Okay, that's sad. But if I go 
dexterity. Oh, now there's some accuracy. There's more. Okay. So you can find all the challenges here. And again, there's many ways you can submit. You can press submit entry here or plus add. It should open up the same form. Boom, here. And for these ones, you don't have to enter any measurement. All right, it's just whether you completed it. You post the link, the title, and the description. Optional. Okay. That's how you earn your points in Shuriken. Okay, what happens when you earn points? You level up. You earn new belts. I did make this function, okay? And this is experimental, and I want your feedback on this. Should we keep the monsters function? <laughs> uh, I made a whole monsters function with a shop. Uh, and, and here's the cool thing, okay? Notice your stats on your profile. You have HP, attack, defense. And down below, you have all your stats that you've been working on. See, I'm at 7.7 .7 in strength. And now, if I go in the shop and I buy, um, well, let's see which one has to do with strength. High vis vest has an attack bonus on strength, okay, which is rare for armor, but this one it gives you the super superhuman builder powers, okay. <laughs> uh, and so the high vis vest here, which you can buy for coins. Which you earn from beating monsters. Okay. It gives you a bonus based on your strength. Okay, so I have 7.7, .7, which rounds up to 8. So the base attack is 12th, but with the strength attack bonus, my attack total is 20. Okay. So I want to play around with stuff like that. But you let me know what you want to see in this app. Is this something that's going to make you want to play Shuriken? Or are you just going to want to battle monsters cause, and, and want Shuriken as two separate apps? You know, because I can do that too. <laughs> but like, you can battle monsters anywhere. But where can you battle monsters where your stats are based on how you train in the real, in the real world? Really. So I thought that was an interesting function, but I'm not sure it's going to be appealing to everyone. So let me know in the comments, okay, about that monster function. I also want it to be able to battle each other. So think about ways you want to be able to do that because that's been a bit headed, a bit of a headache for me. But I want people to be able to battle each other like we battle monsters here, and I want to integrate that with the exchange of challenges. So. Maybe you send a challenge to someone, and if they don't complete it within seven days, they earn damage, right? Something like that. Anyways, I think that's it for today. It gives you a, a good idea. All right, I'll show you these little buttons down here. There's the leaderboard. Oh, for, uh, sorry, that's the ranked skills. So inv individual leaderboards but there's a whole reader leaderboard right here sorry my mouth is getting a little dry here i'm not used to speaking that much um so ranked skills there you go brings you back there okay same thing a little shortcuts down here this is where you can find all your friends oh right i remember you can't see when i'm clicking uh so i i before i clicked on the trophy now i'm clicking on the little family with the heart okay and this is where you can find all the players in the app okay find all your friends here you can search for usernames and then here is going to be latest challenges uh don't bother too much about those small buttons okay and notifications you can see who replied to your challenges that's i think is a bit more fun more relevant here okay you can see likes received as well so you can like each other's challenges like each other's entries And, yeah, you can also, uh, again, the Get Inspired just brings you to browse here. Okay, there's other shortcuts in the main menu in the top left, like to your inventory, potions, 
Uh, back to notifications. There's a clan directory, which is a directory. I'm pretty sure I spelled that wrong. <laughs> uh, but yeah, you can create clans and stuff. I'm not sure what it's going to do, but it adds up all your points together so far. Okay. Yeah. Anyways, I'll cut it here. Let me know if you got questions. What do you want to see in the full version of Shuriken? Okay. And uh, how can I improve this for you guys? I'm going to add chat function very soon. Uh, and better ways that you can connect with your friends. Uh, I'm talking with a few instructors as well. Thinking how can I facilitate um, student instructor relationships or uh, teaching scenarios. So they may be I may be able to uh, get some very reputable instructors uh, to share their knowledge on the platform okay god bless y'all i hope you enjoyed this video i hope this was helpful and uh yeah i'll shut up now peace